Hi everyone, and welcome to Bob's Wood Stuff. Today I'm going to show you how I made this Japanese scraper plane, which I use mostly for tuning my Japanese hand plane that I also made. Let's go to the shop. This style of plane works well on highly figured wood and on wood with irregular grain patterns. I will use it primarily for tuning up the bottom of my larger kana. I decided to use the blade from an old coopering plane and a chunk of beech wood slightly wider than the blade. The Japanese blades are tapered and wedge into the plane body, but this blade is flat, so I'll need to add a wooden wedge. I used a square to draw a line perpendicular to the sole of the plane because this scraper plane has an attack angle of 90 degrees. Then I placed my blade and wedge against that line and traced the line where the wedge rests. Most scraper planes like this have the blade oriented at 90 degrees, but I went with the Isuka style where the blade is skewed by 7 degrees. This allows you to do a skewed cut while the plane is held straight. Then I measured the width of the blade and transferred the 7 degree angle to mark the width of the opening. And I marked an area for the throat opening of the plane. I flipped the plane over so the sole was upwards and I placed a chisel vertically with the beveled side towards the mouth opening. I struck all the way around the opening in this way. This will maintain a clean shoulder when I drill through the body. I also chiseled all the lines on the other side. I set up a bit in my drill press that was smaller than the mouth opening so it doesn't touch the edges. It is very important to maintain those shoulders. Then I set the depth stop so the bit doesn't go all the way through the body. I drilled holes through the top also. Then I swapped out the bit for a Forstner bit to hog out some of the area for the throat opening. Traditionally this is done by chiseling only, but I find it easier to drill out first. Then I started chiseling out the opening. While chopping, I continuously sighted down the side of the chisel to ensure I was cutting at the correct angle. This is the shape I am going for, with the widest part holding the blade. I placed the plane body in a vise and pared down the walls until the blade fit easily through the opening. Once the waist was all chopped out, I tested the fit of the wedge and blade. It fit quite well, and the fit is easier to achieve when the blade and wedge are separate. If you are using the Japanese blade that is wedge shaped, it is harder to get a perfect fit, but easier to adjust when it's built. The blade was heavily cambered on the cutting edge, so I needed to grind it flat. I started by drawing with marker on the back of the blade and then scratched a straight line into the marker. This is what I will aim at. Using my hand-powered grinding wheel with the tool rest perpendicular to the blade, I ground down the blade to the line. This can also be done with a slow speed grinder. I then adjusted the tool rest to 60 degrees to establish the bevel. I have chosen a 60 degree bevel for the edge because of the 90 degree angle of attack. A thinner edge, like the standard bevel of 35 degrees, wouldn't last long on a scraper. I sharpened the bevel using a honing guide, starting with coarse sandpaper on glass and working up to a 6,000 grit diamond stone. And I gave the back of the blade the same treatment, lapping it on the glass and the diamond stones. Then I used some diamond paste in the end grain of a board as a hard strop to polish the edge. I used a hand plane to smooth out four of the faces of the scraper plane and then used a block plane to chamfer the edges and beveled the corners with sandpaper. To ensure the sole of the plane was totally flat, I rubbed it back and forth on my lapping plate until there was a flat, continuous surface.
Then I used the scraper plane on my hand plane, scooping out the center part of the plane's body. Hollowing out this part of the body makes it easier to flatten the kana on a lapping plate and ensures that it only contacts on these two spots, which reduces friction. Once the kana is tuned up well, it can make some nice thin shavings. This was a surprisingly easy build. It was quite a bit easier than building the full-size Japanese hand plane, and it works quite well when I keep it sharp. And because of the angle of the bevel, it stays sharp for a long time. I highly recommend making one of these or buying one if you don't have one and you're using a Japanese hand plane. Thank you everyone for watching and please like and subscribe.